Hey, what's up, YouTube land? It's your boy, Eddie Hill, the White Oak, Pennsylvanian toy collector. And it's time for another Eddie Hill review. It's review time, people. And today, we'll be reviewing Transformers, Cybertron, Soundwave. But before... We look at, we're going to look, well, we don't have any packaging to look at. Sorry, I have to correct myself here. But yeah, he doesn't have the original packaging that came with this figure, so he's just a loose figure. He's got visible head and chest and arm syndrome. So yeah, not much to say about this little guy. But before we get on to transformation, we're going to do a comparison. Here is Cybertron Legends Soundwave next to Kingdom's Core Class Soundwave. Why not? Old versus new. And they have a legacy Soundwave as well. But given he's the exact same mold as Kingdom's, I'm not going to bother to buy him. Well, now we're going to transform this Soundwave into his robot mode. Very simple, flip his legs, flip out his feet like so, and he's got some big clod hopper feet, if you know what I mean. <laughs> so yeah, he's fun. He's just fun to mess around with. He's got some big feet. Robot with big feet, if you know what I mean. He does have bend at the knee, which is nice on a Legends figure this size. Why not? Arms are on a ball joint. No hinge arms. Well, this is an old school Cybertron Legends figure. So, of course, he's not going to be all, you know what I mean, perfect. So, yeah, he's not all perfect. He's just a level of almost perfect transformation. You know what I mean? But now we're going to compare him next to Kingdom Soundwave, which I'm going to transform him off camera. Since I've memorized his transformation very well, I've got a photographic memory when it comes to transforming my figures after a while of messing around with them. It's just literally how good I am at toy reviewing. I didn't get this good by chance, and that's for sure. I had to practice, memorize transformations, a whole bunch of stuff you have to memorize in this reviewing gig. And here we got Transformers, Cybertron Legends, Soundwave next to Kingdoms slash Legacy Core Class. Soundwave. Why not? Dare I say, why not? You're probably wondering, where did I get him? Well, I got this guy off good old eBay for, I think, about six bucks or seven bucks, if I'm correct. Is a Cybertron Core Class Soundwave worth adding to your collection? Yes, he is worth the money. If you can get him on eBay for a really good price, he is worth that money. And I'm so glad just to have this guy in my collection because I've never had a Cybertron Soundwave. If I ever find the big one, I'll have to do a comparison with this one. Well, that's all there is to say for this review. If you like this video, please make sure to like. Please make sure to comment, and don't forget to subscribe. And this is Eddie Hill. Oh, oh. Ah. Sorry, the tripod thing fell down. Moving on, and rock on, and rock out, YouTube land.